now you see what is this topic this topic is your ipm success stories like by using ipm some success stories are there where they have very nicely reduced the paste incidents reduced the paste problems okay those things we'll discuss now okay uh, two three examples are there mostly on cotton and rice okay one by one we'll discuss now you see the first story is management of uh, this particular uh, bollworm in cotton at this asta village okay at this asta village what happened during this 1980s due to this uh, indiscriminate use of insecticide what happened okay uh, no doubt they were applying the insecticide more but crop failure was there nothing they were getting simply helicorpa was damaging 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 the plants okay and so much damage has been happened to those area why this asta village has been taken asta village of this nanded district of maharashtra was selected for this uh, ipm why because you see it was representing of rain fed cotton uh, rain fed cotton growing condition of 11 district of maharashtra what do you should think upon if at a place will do the management means it will be similar for other areas that will be more effective which can be recommended in larger areas yes or no that's why they have selected this asta village where the conditions are same in uh, almost 11 district of maharashtra and four district of andhra pradesh also that's why they have taken the second one is in this village what happened they have experienced a large scale epigeotic of this helicorpa arbezera vast damage was there total crop failure was there that's why they have taken this asta village as their model village then what was the scenario of the village multiplicity of cotton cultivars only cotton staggered sowing not at a time okay imbalance use of fertilizer more nitrogen continuous availability of helicorpa host like always growing cotton pigeon pitchick pure or, or mostly dependent upon the cotton then sanitation was not there they were not uprooting the leftover uh, uh, what uh, planting material from the field simply it was there in the field okay they were following ratooning cropping uh, in the pigeon pea okay among insecticide they were applying monocrotophos endosulfan dimethyl cypermethrin yes and those things they were applying okay in the absence of any institutional credit facility what was happening farmers were completely dependent upon this pesticide dealer so what they will advise whatever the product they have they will try to sell it and they were taking that advice only that's why what happened this uh, pest problem has happened more they were applying insecticide still the pests pests were not dying okay so now what this ipm module has been recommended what are the components of bio intensive module first one is mass what they have done mass motivation of the farmers for large scale field sanitation removal of the crop leftover uniform sowing has been done they have used single hybrid nwh44 uh, and a local variety renuka in that entire village okay synchronization in sowing was there just after monsoon uh, particularly in june okay they have done seed treatment with imidacloprid for soaking paste at the rate of 7 gram ai per kg of the seed they have used recommended spacing not like broadcasting okay 90 to 60 in case of hybrid variety 16 to 30 in case of this renuka variety they planted maize as the broader crop so that what will happen they will encourage and copy to encourage the natural enemies a row of setaria has been grown as a what uh, a living uh, uh, bar purchase okay uh, in every 9 to 9 to 10th row of this cotton okay living uh, what uh, Perch, bar purchase yes or no they have released this trichogramma chilonis what is trichogramma chilonis who can tell what is trichogramma chilonis what is trichogramma sir. which parasitoid egg parasitoid sir yes or no if they will release this egg parasitoid then what they will do they will feed on the egg of this helicor power yes or no so the larva won't come how much they have applied 150000 per hectare in cotton field when two to adult moths has been uh, observed in this ferment trap and all okay then they have applied nske uh, a week after release of trichogramma chilonis a week after not before that because they may be killed then application of hnpv what is hnpv helicorpa nuclear polyhedrosis virus yes or no at the rate of which dose 250 le per hectare what is le one larval equivalent for helicorpa how much 1.6 into 10 to the power 9 yes or no remember definitely that question will come 
Yes, sir. Okay. So, 250 into that much number of polyhedral intrusion bodies will be there in this particular formulation. Anyway, but what happens? Few uh, what, uh, diseases also has been found like your grey mildew and all. Okay, they have applied this carbon dazim and vetable sulfur for the management of those diseases. Okay, then yearly uh, harvest and stock destruction were there. Only they have harvested and whatever the stock left in the field that also removed. Yes or no? That was the effective cultural method. Okay, that has reduced the habitat and food availability to this pink bollworm, Pycnophora gossypiella, Helicor parmigera, American bollworm, and Sporoptera litra, Tobacco hairy caterpillar. Yes or no? So, what was the impact of Asta IPM? Seed treatment has been done against sucking paste and millipedes. The natural enemies uh, has been encouraged by growing this maize and coffee. Bar purchase has been encouraged by using this setaria plant. Yes or no? Parasitization of bollworm is also higher. Okay, due to this least chemical intervention, only NSK they have applied reduction of bollworm. Uh, yes or no? Due to growing of this rope, setaria, because bar purchase were there, bard will sit, bard will feed on the larva. Yes or no? This bio intensive mo uh, module provide higher net returns and yields over farmers practices that's why it has been concluded as a, uh, as a success IPM story yes or no success story of IPM okay what are the lessons they have learned from Asta performance depends upon the active participation of the farmer and cooperation of the developmental agency women participant is a must to, for dissemination and acceptance of those methods training is mandatory IPM impacts are visible only when adapted on a large scale, not in a small scale. Yes or no? Timely supply of inputs is indispensable. The paste is in X days and you are not getting trichocard. Then what is the use of trichocard? Nothing will happen. Yes or no? Huh? You are releasing trichocard at larva stage. Putting bar purchase when the insect is in adult stage. What is the use? Useless. Yes or no? Huh? Millibug management in BT cotton. Okay. You see, after uh, use of this BT, BT cotton, huh? In BT cotton, what happened? Whatever the bollworm complex was there, pink bollworm or uh, helicorpar American or spotted, whatever, they that has been managed. Okay, during which time? Uh, during this uh, 2002 and all. Okay, during 2004, what happened? You see, cotton millibug made its first appearance in BT cotton in Gujarat, and by 2006, what happened? It became a major pest in most of this area. Okay, then what happened? Their particular predator that has been introduced and that has been released in the field. Then what happened? This uh, slowly, slowly, this uh, paste was under control. Okay, in the management of millibug, ICR, NRC, NRC means what? National Research Center, yes or no? For IPM, played a vital role in collaboration with other agencies. In 2007, what happened? A effective bio control agent that is your NRCS. Okay. Uh, Bamba Valley, okay, that is a Chalcidodia uh, in today, okay, was recorded for the first time on Millibug. This Millibug was Phanacoco solenopsis on different host plants such as cotton, parthenium, xanthium, okay, then uh, uh, Acheiranthes, Aspera, okay, in those weeds also that has been found. This parasitoid was first recorded in Delhi by NCIPM in July 2008, and by 2009 it was found to occur in most of the cotton growing district of north and central zones, okay. So this is also the most successful example of by control of millibug. Even there is a case study of by control management of millibug in case of papaya also. Okay, if possible, I will uh, find it and I will send you the PDF. Same thing. Huh? So what are the management strategies? Spray chloropyrifers on millibug infested weed plants, not on the plant, on the alternate host. Second one is removal and destruction of the weeds around the field. Don't stack the dry cotton sticks in the field, remove them. If not removing, apply malathion so that these nymphs won't crawl up. Restrict the movement of crawler through application, uh, appliance, uh, that means instrument, equipments, or animals or by humans. Spot application of profanophores on infested plant. Create awareness among farmers through regular training. And judicious use of pesticide to conserve the natural enemies and your environment. Okay? Those were the management strategy for your Millibug management in BT cotton variety. Now coming to your validation of I, last one, huh? validation of IPM in basmati rice. You see, India is the leading exporter of basmati rice to global market. Okay, extensive surveys by ICR and CIPM reveal that indiscriminate use of this chemical pesticide and fertilizer by farmer 
increase this uh, what negative ecological uh, consequences okay for that ipm has to be done in this uh, what uh, basmati rice what location they have taken barod district is uh, bagpat up i don't know this area you may be knowing size of the farm was 10 hectare variety was pusa basmati 1 selection of village was due to indiscriminate use of chemical pesticide like forate endosulfan etc those area where these chemicals were used more those area they have taken during 1999 the trial was shifted to a nearby village that is uh, sikopur over an area of 40 hectare which in subsequent years were extended to 120 and 160 hectare during 2000 to 2001 seasons okay respectively after the success of ipm validation at uh, this uh, Sikopur in Pusa Basmati one the technology was also taken up in this Chajpur Khurd ha huh? village Haryana and with Tarauri local basmati variety a different basmati variety okay a Chajpur a Chajpur a total of 28 80 and 140 hectare were under this IPM during kharif 2002 2003 and 2004 that means every year the area was increased gradually the technology by its own spread to 25 adjoining villages okay during 2005 to 2010 the technology was validated in uttarakhand state at tiwari and dudhali villages dehradun ha huh? in 40 and 25 hectare respectively uttarakhand at the stilwari uh, 40 and dudhali that is your 25 hectare respectively ha huh? which dehraduni basmati and kasturi these are the two varieties dehraduni basmati and kasturi different area they have given uh, how much they have uh, taken the area those things yellow stem borer bph wbph leaf folder are the major insect pest whereas the diseases are your uh, blast bacterial leaf blight blb brown leaf spot sith blight are the major diseases what are the major pest and what were the major diseases okay so no seed treatment was carried out by the farmer farmer did not grow this sasmania by uh, for green manuring only one seedling was transplanted per uh, spot in haryana and uttar pradesh whereas in uttarakhand 6 to 7 has been transplanted higher nitrogenous fertilizer they were applying okay were not able to identify the insect pest and disease properly uh, followed the uh, advices of the pesticide dealer okay common uh, chemical pesticides were used okay then farmers were unaware of any ipm strategy next coming to what was they have recommended now enriching soil nutrient by this sasmania and all okay green manuring crop then beds were healthy okay nursery uh, raised okay 10 into 1.5 uh, square meter with a gap of 30 cm fm has been enriched transplanted clipping of the rice leaf tips was there this uh, basal fertilizer were used okay uh, then uh, early uh, you need to late tillering and pre this during this time ha huh? only to late tillering and pre flowering time for ysb they have done fixing of pheromone trap for spider conservation they have done this conservation for this bps predatory nature for ysb and leaf folder they have released a parasitoid okay these things they have done and what was the impact residue below less than 0.001 to 0.05 micro uh, micron per gram of carbon dazing forate and bupropion their use has been reduced rupees 200 per quintal was faced more then the prevailing market price due to more productivity in quality and quantity understood or not nothing is there basmati rice was there they have uh, taken so much of areas in different different zones then what happened they were increasing up to 2010 on uh, 10 and all increasing the area of this ipm uh, techniques okay first they have written what they were doing next they have written in the table what they have recommended and how much extra income they got from that yes or no ha huh? like this the story is there case study okay you have to remember ha huh? you may not be writing all the numericals but you should know for which paste and all they were doing these things at least you remember